I know how it feels. Your asshole is exploding. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, as I announced already, I'm not gonna do many of those reaction videos in 2020. However, you requested Dr. Dre. Now she uploaded a what I eat on a busy work day video. Let's have a look. Hey guys, so I'm hey. back with another what I eat in a day video. It's been a while since I've done one of these and you guys were commenting on my last one. Please show more of these. So in today's video, I'm going to show you everything that I ate on this particular day, all the snacks uh, and beverages that I consumed and hopefully give you some fun ideas for some healthy plant-based recipes. Healthy plant-based recipes, already the first contradiction. Please proceed. Early morning routine video and I got a lot of questions on it, but I start every morning with a big old thing of water like most YouTubers, but I don't do the lemon water, I do natural calm. It's just a magnesium drink but it flavors the water nicely. And honestly, it helped me cut back on drinking diet soda. And I no longer drink diet soda or diet Coke. And I attribute it to for the you. natural calm. It just has a nice kind of fizzy taste. I love the cherry flavor. I also love the lemon. It's a nice lemonade taste. I do not know what is in this drink, but by her description, you will have to assume that it's full with artificial flavors and sweeteners. Therefore, how is this better than Diet Coke? Being a doctor doesn't mean anything. Now, oh, you guys know- uh, I really don't want to do this, but there is no way around it. Look at this body. Does this look like a woman? The addict, every morning, I gotta have it. Otherwise, I don't oh function. Oh my I god, you can see the bloated belly, even though she's only skin and bones. Breast tissue, none. Make it in the French press or in my little Bialetti oh. espresso maker. Um, or sometimes I have to rely on an instant coffee. I love of the course. Four Sigmatic Everybody instant does. coffees. No, this video is not sponsored by Four Sigmatic. Ah, do you see the point he ripped there? But you all know at this point that I am a huge fan no, of their coffees. No, no. Why? I just love the way they taste. So I just reordered a bag. All right, so you're starting your day with artificial sweeteners and then you proceed with caffeine. Great, Doc. Bag of the ground coffee. This is what I've been putting in my French press. It's actually the perfect grind for the French press. Look so a lot of people bones. will go on and speak to how they uh, oh. try these for certain potential perceived health benefits. How? How? Me, however, I... How does this woman have so many subscribers? The last time I checked, it was over 400,000 followers. What do you follow her for? The diet advice, what is this? Only consume this stuff for the taste. I love it. I mean, people oh. add stuff to coffee. Why not add mushrooms? And it really jives things up and it doesn't taste like mushrooms whatsoever. It just brings out the flavors of the coffee. It's something about, I don't know, maybe the lignans and the mushroom powder. Who cares? It just tastes phenomenal. Who so cares? yeah, I it love the good. smell of a freshly opened bag. French press, I then add boiling water. Someone on my Instagram commented that I should stir it at this point. I tried doing that and it made a mess. So give me some tips if that was you who, who left that comment. I imagine it does kind of increase the depth of flavor. Oh. I give it a six minute incubation time and then I press down the plunger and I pour all of the coffee. Coffee is toxic, said it many, many times before. If you want to drink coffee, hey, have fun. Life is short, but coffee is poisoning your body. Then your body secretes adrenaline as a stress reaction. Then you misinterpret that as energy. It is false energy. Into my adorable Totoro mug. Now this particular day oh, was she one of the looks like a corpse. days that I wake up at 4 a.m. And as I told you guys in my early morning routine video, I don't really feel like eating that early in the morning. So at this point, it's about 5.30. And I also often will take my B12 supplement at this point or else a little bit later in the day. And here comes the medicine. But jokes aside, guys, this is probably what vegans consider a healthy full day of eating, right? She is a doctor after all. She is taking her medicine. She's taking her supplements. This is what you vegans promote. Someone who follows a vegan diet like myself needs to supplement their diet with B12. So I make sure I get that in either first thing in the morning or maybe a little bit later in the afternoon wow, some days. So Always skinny, discuss man. with your healthcare provider. I really do not want to devolve those videos into personal attacks, into ad hominem attacks. 
But look at this. Does this look healthy to you? You are underweight. You are terribly pale. How is this healthy? How are you a doctor? You should be stripped of your license. What supplements are necessary for you? Um, don't just follow advice on YouTube. It can be incredibly misleading. And especially if you have some underlying mm -hmm. medical things going on. Or you <laughs> medical things. <laughs> the majority of doctor. Americans actually who are B12 deficient do not follow a vegan diet. There are many other reasons to be B12 deficient. So you can see how it starts uh. to become new super high in oxalates you won't absorb any calcium from spinach there is absolutely no point in eating spinach even dr gregor will agree you don't want to just do high oxalate greens like spinach swiss chard and beet greens you want to eat arugula and kale and collards all those other wonderful greens um and it's because you can get too many oxalates you run into kidney stone problems even if you uh, don't otherwise have any uh any uh kind of predisposing factors and individualized it's important to talk to your health care provider about it is what i'm saying yes sometimes true. in the morning this early i will have a green smoothie but today i needed to actually make my food to take with me for work and i didn't get a chance to do that the night before and i've really been into these little mason jar salads i don't know maybe it was some pinterest rabbit hole that got me on this but i've got very true as long as you put it into a mason jar it must be healthy some spinach here that i'm packing into the jar then um hashtag team plantain uh most people enjoy potatoes i am a platano girl all the way i just they're green bananas if you're not familiar with them uh they're they're not as they're not sweet like like regular yeah, bananas yeah whatever i just steam them uh, or boil them in a little bit of low sodium vegetable broth and keep them in the fridge and then slice them up um, i just enjoy them over potatoes i find that they are more satisfying they are a great source of resistant starch uh -huh. um, and then i'm going to top in some hemp hearts i love these and i just I'm always I'm always sprinkling these on everything. All right, she put in quarter a plantain, quarter a banana, and a little bit of hemp seeds for now. That is maybe 60 calories. I try and eat multiple servings of these a day. They're just a really good source yeast. of protein Bad. and That's lots disgusting. of important vitamins and minerals. What is that? I also douse in a few tablespoons of nutritional beans. yeast and then a serving and a half each of a mixture <laughs> of black beans and navy <laughs> beans that I made up in my oh, pressure makes me cooker get. Um, over the weekend. So I had that in the fridge to stuff on in there. What Some cherry tomatoes are going on top. And then I drizzle some apple cider uh. vinegar, which trickles down through the jar and kind of mixes with the nutritional yeast and the hemp hearts and that? makes like a dressing, basically. I top it with pumpkin <laughs> seeds and ancho chili for spice. What? So I end up eating one of these for brunch, if you will, or breakfast. Why? I know that sounds odd. And then the other one I end up... Okay, the whole thing has maybe, maybe 100 calories at best. Obviously, you have anorexia. Eating for a lunch. Uh, I don't mind eating the same thing for breakfast and lunch, and I kind of like having a savory breakfast. But I also bring a lot of snacks with me, and I've really been into these jungle peanuts. OMG, I get these on iHerb, and they taste to me Look like those candies, handful. Boston baked beans, which were like candied peanuts. These kind of taste like that. I also throw in some more pumpkin seeds and some raw almonds. Is this? this is a spice jar from Frontier Co-op that I... This is bird food, nothing more and nothing less. How should a human survive on this food? Reused as my little nut shot, I call it, uh. my nut and seed shot. Yeah, that little jar of nuts and seeds is really handy if you have to put off uh, postponed meal time later than you'd like because you got busy at work. Just sugar and uh, all I also else. take some mandarin oranges and hashtag team prune. All the vegans that I watch on YouTube are all about dates. I am in the minority. I love prunes. All right, it's nighttime and I've really been into kale. It's that time of year where it just seems to be everywhere. So here I am. I've got some washed and dry kale that I'm I just de-stemming here. It looks like a lot. It is a lot, but I'm going to steam it down so it reduces in volume considerably. I'm just chopping up so a you're a white cow onion. basically that's the, what you're saying you're just eating greens as your main food source the uh, kroger click list this week where they uh, load up your car for you and they always give me like the smallest onion so i don't know what that's about but anyways so i just put some no salt added vegetable broth some garlic minced and that onion and she's I'm not eating anything down i then add some fresh cracked pepper I do salt the food, but I use sea vegetables. Just gives things a little bit of an added mineral kick. 
This is pretty much what Dr. Joel Furman recommended. It is the so-called nutritarian diet, where you eat very little calories, but allegedly nutritionally dense foods. So kelp, onions, mushrooms, in the plant-based world, that is nutritionally dense. And you lower the calories by eliminating starches and such. This is what she does. Some iodine as well. And then I put in all of that kale. And as you can see, it cooks down quite a bit. I love she adding- tries to create volume. To the kale right when it gets to this starving. point. Some more hemp seeds. I told you guys, I put those on everything. And Why so it just, like I don't know, kind of adds a little nice crunch. Then yep. I Mushrooms. forgot I wanted to throw in this portobello mushroom. I might have done, I might have added that first, but whatever, like, you know. Yeah, <laughs> tastes terrible anyways. But that goes in, uh, a little bit more low sodium or no salt added veggie broth. Just give it a judge. This is not like a recipe. I'm making this up as we go along it together based on things that are in my fridge, including this red cabbage that I needed to get rid of. So that's going in. And while that steams down, I'm going to make my salad. I love salads and I have a salad. Uh, every you don't love any of that food. Your body is the testament to it. You are malnourished. You are slowly dying. This is what is happening. The only thing that you love about those foods is the quantity. You want to fill yourself up. You want to stuff yourself in order to feel satisfied. But you never do. This is why you always have to snack. Every dinner, I've been on a romaine kick lately. Man. So I'm chopping up some romaine here. It has been washed in advance. And then I also uh, have been into putting shredded zucchini or yellow squash into my volume, salad. It, it adds a nutrition. nice texture difference throughout the salad. I recommend doing it. Let's get rid of the rest of that anemic spinach so we can move on to bigger and better produce <laughs> in my fridge. You all know I'm a huge fan of radishes. I ordinarily put them in my air fryer, just plain, and cook them down. But I decided to throw a little raw radish. So you're frying radishes. That reminds me of potato chips. If you're craving potato chips, what you really crave is protein. Potato chips craving is a sign of protein deficiency. Radish onto my salad for some extra crunch and it's really sad. Color. It's just because human suffering video, yet like, again. I need some reds in there. <laughs> and ah. Watching this video reminds me of why I actually didn't want to make response videos any longer. Because it is so sad. Because it is so frustrating. Every single day, people reach out to me and tell me that those videos help them to snap out of the vegan delusion. Therefore, I still motivate myself to pump out at least once or twice per week. But watching this makes me depressed. It is absolute human suffering. It is malnutrition. Veganism is the doctrine of the devils. Then I've got some white mushrooms. As you can tell, I really enjoy mushrooms. I try. Yeah, to you enjoy them everything that has no calories. It just makes my That's day better. You enjoy. They taste so good, and I like to have a variety of greens and. In addition to the romaine kick, I've really been loving parsley on everything, fresh parsley. This is my little salad dressing concoction. I just put on that Frontier Co-op pizza seasoning onto the salad, and then I throw in a little apple cider vinegar into the mix and just drizzle it on over, and then I will prep. Your digestion must be wrecked. I've been there myself. I was a raw vegan, so even a little bit worse than yourself. Although everything that you consumed until now is pretty much raw vegan, aside from the steam plantain, I know how it feels. Your asshole is exploding. I'll probably add some hemp seeds to this as well uh, for a little extra crunch, but I go ahead and pop that in the fridge with a lid on it and just kind of let the seasoning and vinegar coat everything before I eat it. At this point, my That's kale it. and red cabbage have steamed down along with the portobello mushroom. I'm adding a little bit more of the no salt added vegetable broth to the pan and then a whole bag of the rice cauliflower that I get from okay. Costco in the freezer rice section. Cauliflower. Exactly what I assumed. She's eliminating the starches. She's replacing rice with cauliflower rice. 
Why? Because she has body dysmorphia. She is anorexic. She doesn't want to gain weight. This is why she is vegan. Veganism is an excuse for an eating disorder. This is what you see on YouTube. The only reason why this woman is vegan is because it allows her to look like a skeleton, which she wants. She is mentally ill and she's promoting eating disorders. You can easily rice cauliflower yourself if this isn't available to you, but a tip if you're into rice cauliflower or rice <sighs> veggies is to add a few teaspoons of freshly ground flax seeds and or chia seeds. It helps to make the cauliflower rice almost like a sticky rice. Then I added some fresh cracked pepper and here's the protein source. I've really <laughs> been loving this ground lupin bean flour. It's much better in my opinion than chickpea flour, which I've also used and enjoy. It just has almost a nuttier taste. Sounds and when you put it in and cook it down, it cooks really fast. like a minute and it's almost like a fried rice kind of gets like and this whole dish has maybe 200 calories there you go kind of like an egginess so it really bulks mm, up the egginess. rice cauliflower and gives a nice flavor to it Man. then i add on again some fresh parsley and black pepper i also dump on a lot of nutritional yeast because i love that stuff but it because you're craving cheese always obscures the aesthetics of things so i'm just showing you what it looks like here oh, i wear this no. little classy pal adult bib it just keeps my shirt clean i that's do so work on my computer terrible. look at the jawline I, I know that's probably faux pas but it's now or never. It has to get done, and I'd much rather uh, no. work on my computer and get the work done while I eat dinner than push it into later uh. in the night. I like to turn my computer off and all electronic devices off, uh, ideally an hour before I go to bed. That just helps with the release of melatonin so I can get a better night's sleep. Uh, sleep. There is no human left. Is really important. So I choose to work through dinner in an effort to to preserve my sleep. And wow. that was really good. I ate the whole thing. Sure. Now this is my dessert. I have been really into making my own soy milk yogurt in my Kosari <laughs> multi cooker. It has a yogurt making function. Oh and my before, God. When I was an And look at those little portions. What do you want to feed? A little baby? A little infant? That is craziness. You need food. Omnivore. I used to love having yogurt at night. Um, uh, as a dessert. So I just sweeten my soy milk yogurt with uh, a little bit of the coconut sweet leaf stevia drops. Wow. And I top it with some honeydew melon that's been in season this year. And the honeydew melon at Costco, I'm giving it two thumbs up. I used to hate honeydew, but lately it's just been golden. Oh. Uh, top it with some cacao nibs. Just sugar and, and I nothing also, else. Okay, this is, a, this is an amazing little find. You can thank me later. These pomegranate <clears throat> uh, rills. I don't know if I'm saying that right <laughs> or not. Thanks. They are just basically desiccated pomegranate. Mm. Amazing. Nice yeah. little crunchy, sweet bang. Okay, this, I don't know if you can see, it's a little chocolate pig. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> kind of looks like a rat, a tailless rat. Anyway. Yeah, or like something else. I made these brownies in the silicone piggy mold my mom got me for Christmas. I saw this at Kroger a while back and I really wanted it. It's so much fun. To make these, I use the Swerve chocolate cake mix. Just this sugar. is a no All sugar baking mix that is uh, made with coconut flour and almond flour. The ingredients in the mix are completely vegan, uh, oh, but vegan. it calls for eggs in order to make the recipe. However, you can just. Ah! Watching this is not good for my mental health. Flowers. I used pureed squash and it worked really well. Tastes just like a brownie. Amazing. So, yeah, that's my dessert. And mm. then to end the night, I mentioned I like to turn off my computer and I like to make a tea. This is the Chaga Elixir Packet by Four Siggy, and I just drink it as a tea. Four I just Siggy. put it in a cup and add some boiling water. It looks like coffee, but there's no caffeine. It has a nice kind of minty, earthy You're taste so to it. Hungry. You can sweeten it with whatever sweetener you want. Tonight oh I elected God. instead to use one of these dried mandarin slices. These are really good in water or tea. Just gives a nice citrusy zang to things. So yeah, right. I take this over again, all of the electronics turned off, except I'm gonna put on my little Zen uh, cool mist humidifier here. It just has what? some distilled water in it. And I'm gonna do a little reading. Sometimes oh, I me. catch up on reading for work, but I try and shut off the screens and just Zen out. Yes, I'm wearing Christmas PJs. It's finally cold enough to wear them. So I'm bringing them out. 
But I hope you guys enjoy this What I Eat in a Day video. You no. all were asking for more of these. I'm thinking I'm maybe doing a few Not more. Let me know if you'd like to see that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs no. up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh. All right. This was a tough one. It reminded me of why I don't want to make these videos any longer. It was pure suffering promoted by a so-called doctor. Absolutely deteriorated. She loses more and more weight. She's only skin and bones. You do not need me to tell you. However, she has hundreds of thousands of followers that are listening to her advice. Why would you? Of course, we are living in a fallen reality already. This explains a lot. Those people need God in their life. As I said before, all they need is meat and Jesus. Those people need a hug. Those people need a family. They need somebody to take care of them. They need somebody to give them guidance. They are all lost. The blind leading the blind. This is veganism. This is what is left. Vegan YouTube is dead. Who is there? Freely, Dr. Gregor, Dr. K and whatnot. Nobody is left. It is absolutely disgusting. People are reclaiming their health on ketogenic diets, on carnivore diets. They see this deception for what it is. But the media keeps on pushing. We have to stand up against this. As I said already, I'm going to be making less and less of those reaction videos. But you guys requested it. You guys want to see it. And apparently it helps people out to wake up from their delusions. Therefore, I will be on it for a little while longer before I cannot take it anymore. It is really sad for me. It is soul crushing. It rips my heart out to see those people. I know many watch my videos and they think I'm bullying the vegans. Not at all. If you've seen my previous videos, I bullied myself. All I want is good health for humanity. I do not want to see the Western world destroyed by the doctrine of devils. All right, guys. But this is for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze-dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's Perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.